everybody. Mech Frog here. Today we're going to be tackling the Clan Striker Star from Catalyst Game Labs. I'm going to get it open here and we'll see what's inside. Um, I'm going to be painting these using my brand new Ill Clan paint scheme, uh, which utilizes the Citadel Color Contrast Striking Scorpion Green. Uh, so we'll see how it goes here. All of the mechs inside this box are uh, amazing. I love them. Uh, they're second tier mechs, the kind of mechs you would see on Clan Backwater Worlds. Uh, everything from the Piranha and the Hellbringer, the Hellhound rather, uh, Incubus, Horned Owl, Vapor Eagle. Um, all mechs that employ lots of pulse lasers, which uh, if you know anything about me as a Battletech player, you know I'm a big fan of pulse lasers. As well as some piloting cards in the mix as well. Um, so it has the Alpha Strike cards, has those piloting cards which are useful. Um, and then even if you're just a player of the classic game, it's uh, fun as well. So first thing I did was pull the mechs off of their bases, because I'm going to put them on my own 3D printed custom bases. Um, and if you watch real carefully here, I'm going to stab myself momentarily. Oh, got me. But uh, an artist suffers for their work, so you know, it comes with the territory. So pulling them off their bases so I can get them on the 3D printer. If you want the STL for the 3D printed bases, I'll include the link in the description below so you can check it out. So once you're finally to the point where you can pry them off their bases, I use this little woodworking tool which uses works most of the time, except when I'm stabbing myself. Oh, see, there you go. <laughs> So once they're off the bases, got them glued onto little bits of sprue, primed them with white, and then on goes the Striking Scorpion Green. Now if you've seen my, I did a, a couple of these previously on uh, some 3D printed mechs, and this is the first time I'm using it on the official Catalyst mech, so we'll see how it goes on here momentarily. Something I noted on stream working with the Catalyst designs, especially the newer ones, is they almost have a kind of, kind of comical bubble feel. It's almost like they took the 3D printed, the 3D designed structure and then ran it through a softening so that it's kind of beveled all the edges. I'm totally fine with it, it works, but I just noticed that there's a difference between those and 3D printed mech designs, which tend to be very kind of crisp and hard edged. So when you look at them on the shelf, you can kind of tell the difference between, oh, yeah, that's clearly a Catalyst design, oh, and that's clearly a uh, 3D printed design. So real quick, as I'm working on those bases, uh, I ran out of forest green ink, uh, so I need to order some more, uh, but I knew I wanted to hit these legs and do some color transition using the airbrush. Um, so thankfully, there's enough yellow in this bright green that when you spray blue on it, you're going to get a green. And then I added a little bit of black so that it would make it darker. Um, so sure enough, when I sprayed it on, it came out as a dark forest green. Yay for color theory, right? All those all those days in elementary school weren't learning how colors work, uh, really finally paying off. All right, while I'm working on the bases there, I wanted to talk a little bit about the mechs because they're they're really cool. Um, Conjurer is my probably one of my favorites from the sponge here. Um, that 50-ton medium mech, it, it's sometimes called the uh, called the Wolverine 2C, though for obvious reasons, if you know clan history at all, you know Wolverine's probably not going to be a name that you want around. So they gave it that that Conjurer name, which which works fine. Um, but it's got that large pulse laser, and a lot of these mechs are built around the large pulse laser, which makes sense. Uh, they're second line mechs. They need to be able to persist and run in the background on mech on clan controlled territory without having to worry too much about being reinforced. Which is great because I love pulse lasers. Who doesn't love the plus the the minus two to hit, right? So once I've got the base on there and it's all dried. I'm um, going to hit it with a purple, which will pull out those sections, kind of gives it that uh, Constructicon look, if you're old enough to remember what a Constructicon is. If we're going to go all in with this Ill Clan thing, with the Jade Falcons kind of taking on this, this bad guy persona with uh, our sociopathic con and the whole Mongol Doctrine thing, then we might as well lean into the turn here and uh, make our Jade Falcon mechs 
in that era look a little bit edgy with the bad guy look. So the green and purple kind of give it that alien, play into that alien look. Um, afterwards, coming in with the pink, kind of highlighting, doing some edge work. And from there on, it's doing detail work. So hitting, hitting the laser points with a bright titanium white and the cockpits with a bright titanium white. So I can come in later with the contrasts and make them, that will make them jump out nice and bright. I've said before, I'm a huge fan of the Pro Acryl Bold Titanium White because it is so strong. The pigment in there is so strong. You get one and two coat coverage, um, two coats on black, one coat on many lighter colors. It's just an awesome paint uh, that works when you, when you need something to be white and you don't want to spend the five days doing 15 layers. After that, doing the cockpit with blue. That's the Talisar Blue from Citadel. It's a contrast paint. Often run to it for my cockpits when I want to do a blue. And from there on, I'm using Hoth Blue and then a bold titanium white to do the little detail work on the cockpit. The other cool mech in there is the Piranha. Being only 20 tons but having 12 machine guns is insanely fun on the tabletop. It's fun in MechWarrior Online and uh, not so much fun in Alpha Strike, unfortunately, because really you're just rolling that one to hit roll. So it loses, loses that effect that you're going for with the Prana with the sheer terror of firing all those machine guns at once. Um, but it, it stays alive with speed, unfortunately. Uh, the, the time I used it for Alpha Strike this past weekend, it did not live very long. It had a plus... Uh, plus four to hit. Um, so it really should have should have gotten its shot off. I ran up right up to a mech and fired. It rolled. I rolled a three, so it missed. And then the very next turn, it got killed. Um, so it was a, a short and somewhat uh, useless life there on the table for that poor mech warrior who got blown away. All right, we're finishing up the mechs here, and here they are in all their glory. Again, kind of turning into this kind of bad guy, alien-esque look with the mechs. Like they're coming to ruin your entire day. As always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm definitely going to do more mechs like this in the future. Um, though, obviously, I'm going to take a break from Jade Falcons after this and do some others because I've got lots and lots of demand for some of the others. Uh, clan Dime, uh, Clan Moneyfish out there. If you're a fan of Clan Moneyfish, there's there are mechs on the horizon here waiting for you. Um, so thanks for watching. Be awesome. Make the world a slightly better place. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if if you want to see more content like this. Take care.